Montana's news leader, this is the MTN New News. Good afternoon. Thanks for joining us on the new news on this Friday. I'm Andrea Lutz. We, of course, are getting you ready for the Brawl of the Wild this Saturday. Everything you need to know before you step into the stadium in Missoula. That story in just a minute. But first. Breaking this afternoon, Kyle Rittenhouse is found not guilty of first degree intentional homicide and four other charges in connection to a deadly shooting of two people. The 18 year old also wounded another during last year's unrest in Kenosha, Wisconsin. The jury deliberated for four days. Now the National Guard is standing by in Kenosha for any unrest following this verdict. More fully vaccinated adults should be eligible for COVID boosters by the end of today. Here's today's leading look. The Food and Drug Administration is expected to grant emergency use authorization to both Pfizer's and Moderna boosters today. Well, after President Biden's Build Back Better bill passed the House, it faces a tough road in the Senate. The bill includes funding for child care, affordable housing, health coverage, universal pre-kindergarten and paid family leave. And it cuts taxes for lower and middle income families, but increases taxes on the wealthy and corporations. Montana's only congressman, Matt Rosendale, voted no Friday morning against that $2 trillion bill. There's a lot to keep track of ahead of tomorrow's big game. Of course, we're talking about Montana and Montana State University facing off in the Brawl of the Wild. Here's MTN's Hannah Hill Sop for things you need to know before you walk through the gates at Washington Grizzly Stadium. I'm Hannah Hislop standing outside of the University of Montana's Washington Grizzly Stadium. And for the first time in three years, the Brawl of the Wild is back in Missoula with expectations and excitement riding high. This year's Grizz Cat game is going to be one for the record books. I mean, it's a top 10 matchup. Uh, two teams that uh, only have three losses between them. Grizz Football Communications Director Eric Tabor says the most important thing for fans to know is to get to the game early. With the new mobile ticketing system, the line should be cut down a bit, but Tabor says they are expecting a sellout game. And if you plan on bringing anything into the game with you, make sure it is in a clear bag. It is always hard to find parking on Grizz game day, but with this game, Tabor says it is even more important to use other modes of transportation. Park elsewhere, you just take advantage of the, the park and ride options that are available and uh, walk, ride your bike. For those Grizz fans who are unable to make it to the rivalry game. Brawl the Wild game is available to watch on the Big Sky's premier uh, broadcast partner, Root Sports and their partner affiliates from around the country. The party begins when tailgates open at 10 a.m. and kickoff is at noon. In Missoula, Hannah Hislop, MTN News. It is cloudy across the region moving west to east. We are seeing some snow and some rain. On that note, Western Montana, including Missoula, we've got a good bit of snow that's falling. That will looks like it's going to hold on through at least tomorrow morning. So that means the roads will be slick. I point that out because we got the big game tomorrow. Brawl of the Wild at noon. Number three, Montana State versus number seven, Montana. Uh, the roads are going to be slick today through tomorrow morning. So you might want to leave a few hours early just to take your time to get there. Here's some good news. As the game kicks off at noon, I've got mostly cloudy skies. Some models say anywhere from mostly sunny to partly cloudy, uh, but the snow will have moved out and it's going to be chilly. So you definitely want to take a coat. But let's cheer on your favorite team at the game. As you can see, high winds, dry fuel, and a spark quickly devoured more than a thousand acres in the West Rosebud. Flames coming within feet of people's homes. Another example of the Montana fire season extending deep into the fall and likely into winter. But see, it's still burning up in there. See the smoke? Were you scared? Huh? Were you scared? A little. Montana native and ranch owner Dwight McKay says when he saw the flames, he didn't expect to find his home. And we fought the fire right to the fence line from about 
midnight to 7 or 8 in the morning. These photos from a security camera show raging winds force flames through the Good Medicine Ranch this week, scorching ground within feet of his house. There's just no way at that point you could really stop it. We're just trying to protect property the best way we could. And he fought alongside volunteer fire crews that responded from across the region. When the fire was moving like it was on Monday night, it's you can't get in front of it. Incident commander and fire behaviorist John Trapp says with this severe drought, even three days later in November, the fire is still burning. These heavier root systems and down, uh, we call them thousand hour fuels, they can hold heat for uh, a long time, some, in some cases uh, weeks. There's areas where it'll hold it for months. The snow coming will help, but in these current drought, cold conditions, it will also make for a more difficult winter firefight. By God, I'll tell you one thing. We got some damn good volunteer uh, people in Montana that jumped to it right away. And I just, these guys that give her hell and save the day. In the West Rosebud, Janelle Slade, MTN News.